Good morning, this is Dr. Rajesh Yadav from Department of Biochemistry. Today we will discuss about the buffer. So we have studied about the acid-base definition, acidic and basic nature of the compounds, determination of the pH, numerical base problem, log formula and determination of pH, and we have already done the practice of the numericals. Now today we will study about the definition of the buffer, buffer capacity, mechanism of the buffer, intercellular and extracellular buffer, acid-base balance, acid production inside the body and regulation of the buffer by the kidney and lungs. So it is the introduction of the buffer. So what is a buffer? The solution which resists changes in the pH by addition of acid and base. It is called buffer solution. So, buffer solution was given by the Walter Nest and for this discovery he was given the Nobel Prize in 1920. Now, buffer capacity can be defined as ability of the buffer to resist changes in the pH when acid or base is added. Now, why to regulate this buffer solution? So the the buffer solution is used to maintain the homeostasis and to regulate the enzymatic function. So now classification of the buffer. So buffer can be classified in the two ways, extracellular buffer and intracellular buffer. A extracellular buffer containing carbonic acid, bicarbonate buffer and protein buffer, while intracellular buffer consists of phosphate buffer and protein buffer. So protein buffer is considered extracellular buffer and intercellular both. So we will discuss about the small clip of the buffer system, how the buffer system will resist the change in the pH of the solution. So this is the solution and the buffer solution and this buffer solution is a combination of acetic acid and sodium acetate or we can say that acetic acid or conjugate base that is the acetate. So what will happen when we add the strong hydrochloric acid or any type of the acid strong acid in the solution. So the buffer capacity to change in the pH. So this is in the graph it is showing that equal amount of the acetic acid and acetate and when we add the hydrochloric acid so hydrogen ion concentration will be increased. So when the hydrogen ion concentration will be increased, so acetate concentration will be decreased and buffer solution will enhance the formation of weak acid that means it will convert the strong acid into the weak acid. In this way it maintains the pH of the solution. In the same way what will happen when strong base will be acid added into the solution. So the hydroxide ion concentrate will be increases. As a result, when the acetate concentration will be increased because sodium acetate will uh, weak acid is bind with the sodium hydroxide and it will convert into the sodium acetate. So acetate concentration will be increases. In this way, buffer solution will resist the change in the strong acid or strong base. So this is a small clip which showing the buffer capacity of the solution. So let's discuss the mechanism of the buffer system. So in the body, there are many types of the buffer system present. I would like to explain the buffer system with a ex small example like the combination of acetic acid and sodium acetate is act as a buffer system. So what will happen when the strong acid like hydrochloric acid is added? So if we add the hydrochloric acid, so the buffer part that is sodium acetate that will combine the hydrochloric acid and form the weak acid. In this way, the effect of the hydrochloric acid is neutralized because it is converted into the weak acid. In the same way, if the strong base is added, then what will the happen? So if the strong base is added, then 
the part of the buffer that is acetic acid it will combine with the sodium hydroxide and form the sodium acetate and water so in this way the strong base is converted into the water and sodium acetate weak salt so in this way the buffer solution resists to change in the ph of the solution so another buffer like extracellular buffer so in the body in the cells of the human bicarbonic carbonic acid plus sodium bicarbonate combination act as a buffer solution so what will be happen if hydrochloric acid is added inside the cells if a large amount of hydrochloric if a small amount of hydrochloric is added so sodium bicarbonate of the buffer solution will combine with the hydrochloric acid and neutralize its effect because it convert the hydrochloric acid into the weak carbonic acid and in the same way if the sodium hydroxide is added so it the carbonic acid part of the buffer solution bind with the sodium hydroxide and convert the strong base into the weak base like sodium bicarbonate plus water in this way the effect of the effect of the base will be neutralized next intracellular buffer so in the intracellular buffer is a phosphate buffer or orthophosphoric acid s3po4 plus sodium dihydrogen phosphate so the combination of this orthophosphoric acid and sodium dihydrogen phosphate act as intracellular buffer so what will happen that hydrochloric acid is added so sodium dihydrogen phosphate combined with the hydrochloric acid and form s3po4 and in the same way when strong NaOH will be added so NaOH combined with the orthophosphoric acid and form sodium dihydrogen phosphate in this way the effect of the base will be neutralized so what will happen when acidity or basicity will be increased so the neutral pH 7.4 but the if pH is less than 7.35 it's called acidosis when the pH below 7.25 in the central nervous system depression and coma occurs when ph above 7.55 hyperacidity tetany and when the ph greater than 7.5 it causing the death also when the ph less than 7 it also cause death now we can understand how acid produce inside the body so there are some metabolism through which acid is produced inside the body so the carbonic acid is produced 60 to 80 milli equivalent per day because when the carbon dioxide combined with the water and form the carbonic acid inside the cells and one mole of the glucose produces two mole of lactic acid sulfur protein gives three hydrogen sulfuric three gram sulfuric acid phosphor protein and nuclear protein like three gram orthophosphoric is present through the orthophosphoric acid produced from the phosphoprotein and nucleoprotein and hydrochloric acid which is produced by the auxentic cells in the stomach now we will discuss about the protein buffer system so buffering capacity of the protein depends upon the pk value of the ionizable side chain the most effective group is histidine imidazole group its pk 6.1 and in albumin 16 histidine responsible while in the hemoglobin 38 histidine is responsible for the protein buffer so protein buffer is depend upon the amino group and carboxyl group present in the protein so amino group is attached to the amino terminal neutral ph at the neutral ph amino group is actually ns3 positive rather than ns2 and in acidic medium it become ns3 positive while in the basic medium it become ns2 in the same way at neutral ph the carboxylic ion is present in the form of carboxylate c double o negative instead of c double oh in acidic medium it become c double oh and in basic medium it become co negative so we can categorize the buffer into the two two categories like chemical buffer system and physiological buffer system so chemical buffer system is considered as first line of the defense against ph shift while physiological buffer is considered second line of the defense against ph shift 
so chemical buffer including bicarbonate buffer system phosphate buffer system and protein buffer system while physiological buffer considering respiratory mechanism and renal mechanism so that means kidney and lungs also regulate the buffer pH so the, these are considered at second line of the defense now we should discuss about the respiratory regulation of the pH so how the lungs control the pH the second lines of the defense against change in the pH the respiratory regulation of pH is achieved by changing in partial pressure of carbon dioxide the rate of the respiration is controlled by the chemoreceptor which is present in the respiratory center which are sensitive to p change in the ph of the blood respiratory center in in medulla cause hyperventilation which eliminate more amount of the carbon dioxide in this way it control the acidity in the cells so if you are running then the metabolism will be increased and more carbon dioxide will be produced inside the cell in compared to the oxygen so in order to remove this carbon dioxide lungs start hyperventilation as a result increased carbon dioxide will go outside of the lungs and in this way lungs regulate the ph and act as a buffer system now renal regulation of the ph so how the kidney regulate the ph so in the tubular cells of the nephron carbon dioxide and water with which combine in the help of enzyme carbonic anhydrase and form carbonic acid h2co3 which will break down in the hydrogen and bicarbonate ion and hydrogen ion come into the tubular lumen and uh, in this way hydrogen will remove through the body and it regulate the acidity while kidney also control the basicity in the tubular cells glutamine is converted into the glutamic acid with the help of enzyme glutaminase and ammonia will be released so ammonia is basic in nature so it will increase the basicity so tubular cells release the ammonia and this ammonia will come into the tubular lumen and combine with the hydrogen ion and form ammonium ion and in this way ammonia ion will remove through the body in this way kidney regulate acid and P acid and base balance and kidney regulate the ph the now that we can study about the regulation of the water when the in the inside the border the insufficient water is present then decrease of the blood volume as a result decreases blood pressure which increase angiotensin second which stimulate the thirst center in the hypothalamus as a result increase the thirst and we take the large amount of the water which decrease the blood osmolality the second things when the deficiency of the water occur second mechanism it increase the blood osmolality so blood osmolality is the concentration of the blood so when the deficiency of water occur the concentration of the blood will increase that is osmolality will be increased as a result dry mouth occur and osmoreceptor will activated in the hypothalamus the both action combined stimulate the thirst center in the hypothalamus as a result it increase the thirst and water will be taken and decrease the blood osmolality in this way the water is balanced inside the body so this, this is the reference thank you